Hello everybody and welcome to my fifth Microsoft Access 2013 tutorial and this tutorial uh, I'm going to go through database normalization uh, and it's quite a big subject um, there's lots of books written on it and stuff um, and it might seem overwhelming if you're studying it or something but it really really is a very simple concept um, and it is quite hard to get it right the first few times when you're creating your databases um, but you'll soon learn from experience uh, what is best to do uh, was not but I'm going to try and give you some tips on how you can maximize your uh, chances of not messing up <laughs> um, so here I've got an example of an unnormalized database we just got one table of sales um, and the first step we're going to take when we look at this is we're going to look at anywhere where we've got repeat information. Um, so we can see that we've got the item number repeated, uh, we've got the user ID repeated, we've got the item name repeated, cost, uh, the quantity isn't repeated um, in the most part, the username is always repeated. Uh, and the user age is always repeated. So what then we can look at is we can just look at separating out some of these repeated bits of information. So whenever I've got user ID of 1001, I'm always going to know that uh, it's me and I'm always going to know what my age is. So we create a new table and create table design and we put this information in it. So we have user ID as a number and user name as some text and then we have user uh, age as a number um, and we close or we're going to put our primary key as the user ID because that's the one that's always unique uh, and we press save and we call this one users uh, so now we close that down um, and so in our sales one uh, we now just want to take this information out so I'm going to take my user ID for me and put me in there and put in my age and then we're going to take Miley Smith as well and Obviously, normally you'll set up your design for your table kind of well in advance. Um, oh, 37, but let's go back in and change that. So you won't have to kind of manually put all your new data in because um, it will be stored in this format anyway. So now we've got our users. And so we can actually, instead of storing each of these multiple times, I can get rid of these now. So let's just delete these fields. So let's get rid of the name. Let's get rid of the age. Um, but we want to keep the user ID because that's how we're going to reference it. Um, we also can notice that the item cost and item name are duplicating as well. So we're going to take those out too. So let's create ourselves a new table. So create table design. Uh, and then we want item number. Uh, and we want that. As I'm going to put it as an auto number because uh, I don't want to have to bother filling in each time and then item name uh, actually let's put our auto number as a long integer item name let's have as text and then item cost we just want as a currency uh, and let's just check we've got the right currency so I'm using pounds um, and then let's just save this as our items table uh, and we want to set our item number as the primary key so let's press save and items okay so now we can take out our item name and our item cost from here uh, and we can fill it in in our items table so item number um, and then the next one was two and then we have chocolate cake and Krispies. Uh, 
I say chocolate cake was four pounds and they were 50p. So now we've got our items table and our users table and our sales table, we can just delete the item name and delete the item cost. And now our table here uh, is a lot more compact. Um, and our we've now got our data split out into our different uh, sections. We're only gonna have to store this data once in here. So these ones will stay the same. And then whenever we make new sales, we just add them in there, but we don't have to duplicate the numbers. Um, and that is essentially database normalization as an example. Um, if you've got any questions, then feel free to drop them in the comments or check them on our forum. Um, and if you enjoy these tutorials, we release new ones every Wednesday, so click the subscribe button. Uh, thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial where I'll show you how you can link tables in from other databases.